Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole, Marie and Gary. Today, you guys, I'm going to be making an easy brunch casserole. Sorry, my voice cracked. An easy brunch casserole, you guys. Right here, I have five strips of bacon. I use my scissors, my kitchen sears. You can use your kitchen knife, just cut them up. And stick them in your pan and, and render them down. Once you have your bacon done to your liking, you'll go ahead and um, strain it off. I have a bowl here lined with some paper towel just to let it cool and drain. Over here I have three stalks of spring onions. I have the green tops over here that is going to be used for garnish. This right here will be going into the egg mixture. Next I have six eggs I'm going to go ahead and crack into this bowl. For the sake of video, it's not working out well, is it? I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these cracked in the bowl. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna sprinkle in some pepper. You can add whatever seasonings you like, but I'm going to be um, adding the bacon in. The bacon has enough salt in it. Also, my other ingredient is going to be um, some potato rounds. They also have enough salt in it. We're just gonna go ahead, anyways, and mix these guys up. All right, I have a greased 11 by 7 baking dish. If you don't have that, you can use an 8 by 8 or a 9 by 9. And you accommodate this recipe to your family size as well. So we go ahead and get everyone into the bowl. Or from the bowl to the pan. Next, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle on our bacon. You don't have to top, top it with cheese. You don't have to add cheese to this recipe. This is just a base to show you guys um, a recipe. A lot of times we like to cut this up and just put it on some toast as a breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna show you a couple different demonstrations. So we have that. We're gonna go ahead and add the, some of the whites and the greens of the onion. You don't have to, again, do this if you don't want to. You add whatever you like. You could put beyond, uh, you can use just egg. If you're vegetarian, you could definitely do a breakfast casserole with just egg. Um, you could add peppers into this. You could do many different things. I'm just showing you a basic, easy breakfast casserole. It's Easter weekend, so we wanna make everything easy. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and layer in my potato rounds. You can use tater tots, you can use hash browns. You don't have to use them at all. Again, it's just a, a way for me to use up some of my leftovers and also it's um, a great way to make your breakfast casserole, you guys. It's Easter weekend, you want everything, everyone's gonna be making big dinners, you wanna make it as easy as possible. Kids are out, they're anxious, they're wanting to do their their uh, Easter egg hunts. This is a great make ahead as well, you guys. You can make this fully, pop it in your fridge, come home, cut slices, reheat it, put it on some bread, and you have an, an instant breakfast sandwich. Oven is preheated at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the middle is set. Okay, you guys, I had it approximately in there for 30 minutes. We're going to go ahead now. And I use a micro um, plane to shred this cheese. And it's really not, it's just a little bit of cheese, but that micro plane sure can stretch your cheese a long way when you shred it yourself. Like I said, this is great uh, for any kind of a uh, busy event you may have going on or so forth very easy very simple you can do this any way you like go ahead and spread that cheese out just a little bit not too much then we're also going to top it with the rest of them greens that we had from our onions for garnish you can pair this with fruit you can cut it up and fit it into a breakfast sandwich. Whatever your little heart desires, you guys. The, the possibilities are absolutely endless. And there you have it. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, you guys, stay blessed, stay safe, and have a wonderful day. And it's Easter weekend, so have a great Easter, everyone. Bye, y'all.